Here's another example. Do pines grow to the same height in Big Cottonwood Canyon and Mill Creek Canyon? Here we have a significance level of 0 0.01. So in Big Cottonwood Canyon, they sampled 60 pines that had a mean height of 40 feet and a standard deviation estimated, so a sample standard deviation of 5 feet. In Mill Creek Canyon, they had 40 pines with a mean height of 42 feet and a standard deviation of 10 feet. Here we're being told to assume unequal variances. So what do we know? Let's consider the Big Cottonwood Canyon as sample 1. So n1 equals 60, x bar 1 equals 40, and s1 equals 5. In Mill Creek, n2 equals 40, x bar 2 equals 42, and s2 equals 10. We're going to have to calculate the standard error of the difference of means. And it says to use unequal variance. So let's go back. So we're going to have to use this equation over here. Which is not all that Oh, I'm sorry. We were asked to use the unequal variance. Sigma 1 does not equal sigma 2. So we're going to use this equation over, to, over here. So we have standard error of the difference of means equals the square root of s1 squared over n1 plus s2 squared over n2. This is equal to 5 squared, so 25 over 60 plus 10 squared, 100 over 40. which equals 1.7 and 1.71. Okay, so now let's solve the problem. The null hypothesis in this case is that the two means are equal. The alternative, they didn't specify a direction, so the alternative is non-directional. Mu1 doesn't equal to mu2. Ah, step one. Step two, we're going to use a, a difference of means, two sample difference of means t-test. We use a t-test because the sigmas are unknown. How many degrees of freedom do we have to use? Well, based on the information on this slide over here, we use the smaller of n1 minus 1 and n2 minus 1. So in our case, given our two sample sizes, we can use 40 minus 1. So our degrees of freedom is 39, with 39 degrees of freedom. What this means is, in all practical purposes, we're going to use the Z score, to the Z, uh, a Z test, and a Z critical, since we've got such a large amount of degrees of freedom. Three. What was the significance level? Over here it's stated to be 0 0.01. So four, let's draw it out. It's two tail, so we're gonna have half of alpha in each tail. Remember, this is alpha. So over here, we've got half of percent, 0 0.005, and over here, we've got half a percent, 0 0.005. Let's use our table. 
In order to have half a percent in each tail, we're going to use the 99 percent level of confidence, right? Because that is going to put half a percent in each tail. We're using a T distribution with 39 degrees of freedom, which is essentially the same as a normal distribution. So we've got 2.58 as our critical values. Minus 2.58. And anything in this range or in this range will cause us to reject. So 5 is let's compute the test. So we've got T equals x1 bar minus x2 bar over the standard error, which equals the difference between the two tree height averages, 40 and 42, 40 minus 42 over 1.71, which equals 2 over 1.71. which is 1.17. So if this is the t equals 0, here we are, are at t equals 1.17 and therefore we fail to reject. Fail to reject. So we continue to assume that the tree heights in each canyon are the same tree heights are the same.